Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Well, it's been a while since I put up a video and uh, so I'm still down here in Florida trying to sell some properties down here. And, uh, you know, I'm just kind of down here hanging with Albert. You remember Albert, right? But anyway, I thought, uh, we got this old marina here, and it's got some old boats that have kind of been abandoned, neglected, or whatever. And I thought we'd walk around and look at some cool old boats. So, you want to go? Let's go. Well, there's the marina. And uh, there's some oldies in here. That have just been kind of forgotten about. Kind of like that one right there. I don't even know what that is. But hopefully in the video you can see. If you look up around the recoil. You can see all the cobwebs. All the white chalky on the handle. All the cobwebs down there on the transom area. Just forgotten about. Let's see if I can find a name on that one. Well, the boat is an Alumacraft. Alumacraft. Little bitty teeny thing. And I don't know who makes that motor. I'm not familiar with it, but it's pretty much gone. I mean, you know, somebody with a lot of love and passion could probably do something with it, but might clean up better than you think. But I don't know who makes it. It's a... Three Pert Five Hangaki Hangkai Hangkai. I don't know. Sounds Japanese, Chinese, something ease, but I think she's probably gone. Cute little jumbo. I don't know what's under there, but uh. Got a nice little 40 Evan root on it. I think the boat gets used, even though it, it, you know, because he's got a bait bucket down there with minnows in it. So I think the boat gets used. There's one I don't think's been used in quite a while. A Nissan 60. And, uh, I don't know, it just looks like it's been sitting. It's got cobwebs and leaves and dust. So I don't think this one's been used in quite a while. Little bass boat with a Nissan 60. Yeah. Yeah, she's a little dusty. Rusty. Here's one with the Evinrude 150 Tracker. XP 150. It looks like it gets used pretty regular. There's signs of use in there. I bet it moves right along, too. Now, here's one I know. This boat looked about like this when I bought my property down here. It's been sitting there in the water for years. It's got the Tracker GT 150 Pro. And that engine has been sitting in that water with the lower unit down like that for probably over 20 years. And it's sad because the engine's probably not any good, but you could probably take this hull and do something with it and make a nice boat out of it. Just a carpet change and some hard elbow grease. Pretty 
pretty sad. Next up, we got the Mariner, one of my favorite engines. I like the Mariners. And on a nice little John boat. Good little setup right there. Definitely taken care of. It's got it out of the water. And I like me the Mariners. Here's another abandonment. You can see the tarp covering it is rotted off. I believe this is one of those little tracker type deals too. Nope, it's a Spectrum. Looks like it says Spectrum TG Marine something weld or something. I don't know. But it's got a little 25 Merc on it. But you can see it's sitting all kitty wink in its stall from where the Hurricanes Nicole and Ian came. And it hasn't been registered since 04, 10 of 04. So it's been sitting there quite a while. That one also would clean up very nice. Be a great little spec crappy boat. Here's a couple nice examples. Nice Ranger with a 115 V4. Johnson! Loves me some Johnson. Yeah, nice clean boat. Clean older outboard, looking good. Ranger. And then right beside it, we've got a later model Johnson. This is on one of those, I think they call it center console, something like a skiing fish or fishing ski. But it's a nice boat too. What is that, about a 130, 150s? I can't see what horsepower that is. Nah, it's not that big, I don't think. And then we got a pontoon. Can't see what's on that one either, but these are nice. A couple of them. Yeah, the old Ranger. Here's one that's been long since forgotten yep a bomber it's called a bomber I think b-o-m-b-e-r got the old three-cylinder 70 from the day good motors but she's been there the old bomber got bombed a long time ago yeah been sitting there for God knows how many years yeah let's see if there's a sticker on the other side there's a look from the yep bomber the bomber be a great little crappy boat too and that boat would clean up nice uh, it was registered 6 of 18 so ain't been sitting there as, as long as I thought but the hull would clean up good I'm sure here's one he's kind of destroying his rub rail there well he's got it set in there like that but it looks somewhat clean got the 115 Johnny on there older boat but looks like it could get the job done for sure This one's been sitting quite a while too. Another little John boat. The get her done. And it's got one of my favorite motors on it for sure. The old Dodge. 
God bless you. I like them. I like the Tohatsus. Here's another one of my favorite. The old classic Mercs. I don't know if that's a fitty or not. Seems kind of small. Can't see. But it's on a well-kept boat. There's another newer style Merc on that bass boat there. Yeah. Yep, he's got a battery trickler on there hooked up. So that old Tahatsu probably fire right up. Boat needs a good cleaning. Get some of these cobwebs off his trolling motor. For sure. This has some kind of joystick. No, it's got the, I guess that's, a, yeah, that's your tiller over. It's got that stick steering, I think they, they call that. It, it says easy stick. Got the easy stick steering, and then here's his throttle. I don't know what that little joystick thing is. Is that a, that's not a joystick. It's just a knob. I don't know. If anybody knows what that knob does, let me know. Because <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just something to hold on to. But that's how you steer it, is the stick, easy stick. Right there. This seems to be a popular boat down here, these Sylvans. They make a lot of pontoons. 17 Pro Select. With a Mariner 130 on it. No, that's a 90. Yeah, Mariner 90. Stainless prop. Good looking outboard there. But yeah, these Sylvans seem to be real popular around here. Looks kind of like a StarCraft type boat. Pretty similar. Nice little bass boat. Ski boat here. Combo type thing. Got a nice Johnson on the back. Yeah, pretty clean. Yeah, little combo boat kind of fish and ski setup. Not bad. Another nice little tracker. Kind of dirty. Got a Merc on it. Can't tell what horsepower from here. But that's probably about a 90, something like that. Maybe a little bigger. Tracker. Good little bass setup. And then we got a Sun Cruiser over here, or Sun Fisher by Sun Cruiser. It's seen better days. I don't think it's been moved in quite a while. Probably pick this thing up for next to nothing. She needs a little work. Sun Fisher. Need some, need some super clean on that. Lots of it. What we got for power? Oh, we got the Merc 50. Yep. Engine looks about like the best part of the whole boat. She just needs a lot of elbow grease. It'd clean up. But you can tell it ain't been run in a long time. Yeah. Here's the nice Super Fisherman 160 Starcraft. With a little uh, very clean classic brown stripe Mercury 35. Nice clean boat. Looks good. Nice StarCraft. For sure. Yep. Yeah. Mercury 35. 
nice bass boat coming in with the Mercury Pro XS 150. Boy, he's going to take up all that dock. <laughs> nice setup. Barely fits. There's a older pontoon. Don't look like it's been running a while. Nice old boat there. Got the e tech on an old, I don't know what boat that is, but I like it. At least I think that's an e tech Looks like one. He got his hound doogies. That's a nice old boat there. I like the spotlight he's got up on top. A little cutty cabin. Nice. He scared the alligator away. Looks good. Sits a little heavy in the in the trunk there. Because of the E-Tech, I think, but I bet it gets right up and goes. Nice little old boat. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.